name's Leaf, and I'm on a quest with my two friends, Jasmine and Barda. We're searching for the missing gems of the Belt of Del Tora. We've only got two more left to find. But now the evil Shadow Lord knows of our quest. He's after a man, a boy, and a wild girl with a black bird. Why do they always say wild girl? Just because I'm independent doesn't make me wild. Mm. Ah! All I know is our quest just got more dangerous. Right now we're heading towards the Maze of the Beast, where the sixth gem is hidden. An oleo, fearsome as could be. I said to that oleo, jolly one. Hey, I know that voice. I said to that oleo, don't. you don't bother me. Oh. Well, well, what you doing here all by yourself, Master Dane? How many times do I have to tell you to stop calling me that? It's just Dane. Haven't you noticed I'm not a kid anymore? Whatever you say. Master Dane. All the towns along the river are abandoned like this. There's absolutely no business for someone like me. Just can't get a break. Well, you're in luck, because I'd like to buy something from you. We could buy a few things, too. <clears throat> what are the chances of bumping into you? I'm a bit surprised that you and Dane know each other. Yeah, we don't see each other often, but I'm always honored to meet any friend of young Dane here. I hope I've got what you gentlemen are looking for. Welcome to SNNB. Fine wares, bought and sold. Oh, wow! SNNB. Fine wares, bought and sold. Just like you said. We've got everything from clothing fit for royalty to leather wallets to fancy little knickknacks. So go on, have a look, try things on. Find what you need. How much do you want for this beautiful pendant? Huh? Well, has Master Dane got himself a girlfriend? Why would you say that? Maybe I just want to buy the thing for myself. Now, now, no need to get worked up. If you did find true love, can't blame me for being a little curious, right? Wait a minute, Dane. Do you even wear pendants? No, not really. I actually am getting it for someone else. And who would that be? Have you got anyone to buy something for? Uh... Well... What's in this purple bag? Very fine toffee. Really popular. That's why I've only got one bag of it left. Jasmine would probably like some. I mean, who doesn't like toffee? I'd like to buy this. A wise choice. Enjoy. How much are you asking for the belt? Well, I see you're a man of fine taste, but that might be just a bit snug on you. Oh, no, it's not for me. It's a gift for someone. Thank you kindly, sir. I hate to say it, but that might be too big for Jasmine. I know. It's for you. Huh? The belt's for me? It's a reward for having made it this far. Well, thanks, Barda. I take it, then, the three of you are finished shopping. I love how his cart folds up like that. Smart design. No, no, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Master Dane's a friend of ours. Remember what Ma always says, never make a profit off of friends. Mm -hmm. That's a little creepy. I wonder what he's mumbling about. I don't know. It sounds like he's talking to someone else. Of course we're not going to make any money here. Look around. This town's been pillaged by pirates too. Let's just move on. Nevitz. Yeah, it does. I wonder who this Nevitz is. Well, gentlemen, thanks again. It really has been a pleasure doing business with you today. So where are you heading from here, Stephen, if you don't mind me asking? I think I can trust you, so I'll let you in on a little secret. I've got a rendezvous with the Resistance. Ah, which reminds me, I almost forgot. Compliments of Queen Bee herself. I hope it comes in handy during your travels, young Dane. I know it will. Thanks, Stephen. Queen Bee makes that stuff? Shh. Why don't we keep that between us? Goodbye and safe travels. I'm sure our paths will cross again one day. Once there was an oleo, jolly wally oleo. I Once thought Queen Bee honey was only made in small amounts at that orchard just outside of Rhythmium. So why is Stephen giving it away? 
That's because Stephen is the son of the orchard owner. Oh, her, her son? son? Really? That grumpy old lady has family? He seems like a really nice guy, but he is a little odd. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Come on, I think we've spent enough time in this ghost town. Jasmine's probably way ahead of us by now. Mm-hmm. Wow, the river's a lot wider than when we started out. That's good. We must be getting closer to its mouth, which is where we want to go. That means it shouldn't take much longer to get to Tora now. Great! This is exactly what I needed to get my energy up. What about you? Want a race, Master Dane? <sighs> hey! I thought I made it perfectly clear that I don't like being called Master! <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine is. I hope she found a safe place to rest. She's probably way down the river. She got a good head start, and we've had a few delays along the way. That's true, but I bet she's getting pretty lonely by now. It's been two days. She's always got Cree and Philly. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I know that she's close to them, but it's just not the same. I know. Oh, that reminds me. Dane? Would you like some toffee? Oh, he's asleep. I bet these are really good. Mm, 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 they're disgusting. Serves you right for buying something you know nothing about. <sighs> but Steven said it was top quality toffee. He said the reason he only had one bag left was because they're really popular. But did you hear what he said after that? Well, popular with one or two people anyway. Sorry to break it to you. Thanks a lot. Leaf, come here. There's something I need to show you. Hmm. There's actually a good reason why I got this for you. I was thinking we could hide the belt of Del Tora inside it. It's not that I don't trust Dane. I just don't think it'd hurt to be extra careful while we travel with him. Mm-hmm. There. Now nobody will be the wiser. It's a bit bulky, but it should be fine. Well, this isn't good. It looks like we're heading into mud flats. I don't know about you, but I don't want to walk in that. Yeah, who would? That said, there's really not much choice. Here goes. Ah! Barda! And now I'm stuck. It's no good. I can't move an inch. Grab my hand. Sorry about this. It's okay. And pull! Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's time for plan B. I sure don't want to try that again. <laughs> Well, this isn't going to work either. Going over the mountain is going to take us too long. Yeah, but what are we going to do? Maybe we should go back down to that village. I've got a better idea. Check this out. The River Queen dock? What makes you think this boat is still operating? Why not? I'm sure we're not the only ones wanting to travel down the river. I don't know. I've never heard of the River Queen before. This could be perfect for us. It'd be much faster than walking and a lot more fun, too. Come on, what do you say? It can't hurt to try it. We've been waiting for a long time. You'd think there'd be some sort of schedule posted. I'm beginning to wonder if this is such a good idea. I mean, for all we know, there could be only one boat a week, and it already came yesterday. I feel like we're probably just wasting our time here. Exactly. Or maybe the whole thing is just an elaborate trap. They put up this dock and that sign and wait for people like Leaf. We should have left you back in that swamp, Barda. 
Anyway, we'll have to get going at some point, you two. We can't wait here forever. Yeah, I know. Let's just wait a little longer. Huh? What is it? Did you see something? No, but I think I heard something. Hmm. Yeah, now I'm starting to hear it, too. It's the River Queen! Well, you three are a surprise. I haven't seen anybody on this dock for years now. You got money to pay for the ride? Yes, of course we do. Hmm. How far down the river do you want to go? Well, my eldest son and I have some business to take care of on the coast. Uh, uh. And let me guess, you're not able to disclose the nature of this business, right? Don't take it the wrong way, but it is private. <laughs> Easy, big guy. I was only kidding. You don't have to tell me anything. I'm only interested in your money. You pay, you're on board. You can't pay, I'll leave you on the dock. It's really that simple. And that'll do it. By the way, I want to drop my other son off at Tora. Will that be a problem? What? Are you serious? Don't you know you can't get there by boat anymore? They've closed down their docks. Is that so? Then he'll just have to get off at the closest stop and walk the rest of the way. <laughs> well, welcome aboard the River Queen. Oh, there are two rules I gotta tell you before you get on board. First, I'm the captain of this ship, not your bodyguard. You get into a scrap, don't look at me for help. You gotta be able to protect yourselves. We can do that. Secondly, if you're Oles, it's not a problem. It's none of my business, and I don't care. Why would you think that any of us are Oles? Calm down, sport. All I'm saying is that no matter who you are, if you pay, you're welcome aboard the River Queen. Unless, of course, you start hassling any of my other passengers. Then I'll have to throw you overboard and feed you to the serpent fish. That's always fun to watch. You've got nothing to worry about, because we're not Oles, and we're not going to be bothering anyone. Hmm, <laughs> that's what they all say, kid. Yeah, I guess they would. <laughs> huh? What's going on? <laughs> hey, Chet, get over here! Hey, that monkey took some of my toffee! <laughs> Jet's a polypan, not a monkey. So of course he checked to see what's in your pockets. <laughs> Have you ever heard of polypans? No, but I think we saw some of them in Rhythmia collecting money for the performers. Huh? I bet it was doing more than just collecting money. Polypans are pickpockets. They can steal the shirt off your back without you even noticing. No kidding, huh? Yeah. The fact the captain has a polypan as a pet makes me think this isn't going to be an easy ride for us. I kind of figured that at the very beginning when he accused us of being Oles. I wouldn't worry too much about that if I were you. The captain said the same thing to us when we came on board. How do you do, gentlemen? My name is Sandra. And this is my dear husband, James. Pleasure to meet you. We're here on our honeymoon. We just got married yesterday. Congratulations, I'm Gordon, and these two boys are my sons. This is Henry, and his little brother, Edward. Wow, what wonderful names. And you two seem like a couple of very handsome, well-mannered boys. Uh, thanks. Huh? Howdy ho, good folk. Lock in the stripe at your service. And this is for all you music lovers out there. Off we go. <sighs> this is a much better way to travel than having to walk through the mud. I seem to remember someone making fun of me for wanting to wait on the dock. Yeah, you were right. The problem is, what if there are oils on board this ship? Well, let's think. If it's true that they usually travel in pairs, there are a few passengers we should be careful of. There's the newlyweds, Sandra and James, and then those two card players. But the others seem to be traveling on their own. Doom said there are oils that can take the shape of objects, too. That's a good point. 
So, we should keep an eye on that musician and his accordion. And then there's that lady sitting on the bench with her parasol. No, no, she doesn't worry me. She seems pretty well-bred. Looks like she comes from a wealthy family. Yeah. Have you already forgotten how Marie and Ida tricked you? Oles will do whatever it takes for you to not suspect them. That way they can catch you off guard. If that's the case, then the most suspicious passenger is actually that lady in the purple shawl. I probably would have let my guard down around her. But the way the captain talked about Oles, it seems like he's dealt with them before, so I think we'll be safe as long as we're on the boat. Don't forget his first rule, though. We shouldn't count on him to do anything if we're attacked. Oh, yeah, you're right. In any case, we just need to be careful and keep our eyes open. Pause off! <laughs> I think it was a mistake. Jasmine shouldn't have gone off on her own. She should have stayed with us. I agree. I mean, after all, they're looking for a group of three, not four. Maybe me joining you guys would have been enough to throw them off. Well, I guess there's no point worrying about it. What's done is done. Huh? Uh, ow! Hey, what'd you do that for? I'm sorry, Leaf, but I had to push you. You almost got chomped by a serpent fish. I don't think you realize how high those things can jump out of the water. Really? Hmm. You see? I was just trying to help you out. Oh. Are you okay? No hard feelings, right? Of course not. Hey, thanks a lot, Dane. Hmm. Folks, we've dropped anchor for the night. Please make yourself comfortable and do as you like, and enjoy the evening until lights out. <laughs> hmm? ah! I have a feeling that the polypan's gonna be up to no good tonight. We should watch our stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea. Is something the matter? Well, I'm really starting to think that the lady with the umbrella is an owl. Why do you say that? I've noticed that she keeps looking over at us, like she's keeping an eye on what we're up to. You know, I was thinking the same thing. I've seen her doing that, too. Really? So now you think she's an owl? What should we do? Um, Leaf? Uh. How dare you accuse me of being an owl? I leave you guys alone for a few days and you're already calling me a monster? Jasmine! Mm -hmm. You boys have a very nice night, and I hope you sleep well. You too, miss. Good night, ma'am. I didn't recognize her. I wonder where she got all those fancy clothes from. Maybe she ran into Stephen along the way like we did. Uh, Dane, where are you going? Just going for a walk. Hmm? Huh? Excuse me, miss. Would you mind if I sat here? Uh. I'm glad you're all right. I was really worried about you. Okay, but this isn't right. We're supposed to be strangers. What if someone notices us? I know. It's just there's something I wanted to give you. Huh? It's a present. I hope you like it. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you, Dane. Here, let me put it on you. It looks good on you, Jasmine. Thanks, it's really nice. You could learn a thing or two, Lee. Shut up. I was a bit nervous. I thought she wouldn't like it. Well, it does look good on her. All right, everyone, listen up. I'm going to be turning the lights out. Sleep tight now. Oh, sure. He says that, and then he locks himself in his quarters? That doesn't seem right. Well, he did warn us from the beginning that we'd have to be able to protect ourselves.
sure did. I got a bad feeling about this. 